It's your final day of storytelling with CS First. In just seven days, you've been able to make some amazing stories using the power of computer science. You've built things like an interactive adventure story, a dark and stormy setting, and a personal narrative. What an accomplishment. For your final project today, you'll create a reflection story. Take some time to reflect on what you learned about the world of computer science during your time in this club, and use the blocks from previous days to make a story about your experience. Remember the people who helped you, too. You can't build amazing things in computer science without helping and learning from each other. There's no starter project today. This project is based entirely on your own ideas. You've persevered through many challenging projects, and now is your chance to use what you learned about computer science to make something amazing. The rest of this video will give you some suggestions to get you started. Then after that, it's all yours. Let your creativity run wild. Take a look at this example reflection project. As you can see, it's got two sprites. One is a narrator, like the one you used in day five, who is broadcasting messages to the other sprite. The other sprite says, I learned that if blocks are the way computers make decisions. Then it says, thanks to my gurus, Ms. Hunley and Mr. Moultrie, for helping me learn about computer science. You can make yours look however you like. This is just one example. To get started on your reflection project, click Create and Scratch. Name your project something like CS First Reflection. Then add two sprites. You can always add more, but two is a good place to start. Next, drag out two event blocks. One can be the win flag click block, and if you want to use broadcasting, you can also use the win or receive block for one of your events. Make sure to include these blocks in the reflection story you create. Finally, drag out one if-else block. Use this block with the ask block to make the sprite decide whether to say one thing or another, or to choose whether to dance or make a sound. That's all you need to start. Good luck and happy coding. Remember, in this video, you will create and name your reflection project, add two sprites, add two event blocks, and one if-else block. On the next page, you'll see a couple ways to make your reflection project even more exciting.